All right, so for my presentation, I wanted to talk about a project that I worked on this semester. That project was with one other student. Her name is Sarah. And what we were in charge of was creating a website for a client. That client's name is Jade Boyce. So Jade Boyce is a local author. She has written three books. Those books are about gaming. It's the game lit genre. And what game lit is, is it's basically where the characters have stats and those stats are going to develop over time as the storyline progresses. So Jay had a lot of different things she wanted included in that website. She wanted those stats. She wanted somewhere where her fans could go post um, fan art and where she could also post um, art. So me and Sarah were assigned this project and we were both really nervous at first just because there were just two of us, and a lot of the other people in the class had projects that were very similar to ours and required the same amount of time, but they had five or six people, whereas we just had two. So it worked out kind of nicely though, because in the web and app development major, there is the development side and the design side. So I am the development side of the major, and Sarah is the design. So of course, I took care of the development, and she took care of the design. After we met with Jay, she gave us those things that I mentioned she wanted included, and then we created a sitemap of everything that we thought should be included in the website. So we wanted to include the three books that she's written, of course. We wanted to include those stats that she had mentioned. We also wanted to talk about the fan art that fans are able to post on the website. Also the about page for Chani, and then the contact for Chani. So of course, we only had one semester to do this, so we had to cut back on everything that we wanted to do. So of course this was our initial goal, but we didn't have time for that. So there's asterisks next to the things that we did include. So mainly we just got the landing page done. Um, so right here is just the jumbotron of the page. You can see the third book that she's written, it's called Sense, and that's gonna be released here pretty soon. And then the next section is her other two books, a description about those books and where to buy them on Amazon. And the last section is just about Jay a little bit, and then also where to contact her with every social links in the bottom. So this was a pretty fun project to work on, but there were some complications. Those complications were, um, we were very unfamiliar with the domain. And by that, I mean we weren't really familiar with the game lit genre, and we didn't really know how to portray a lot of the things we wanted to portray. For example, those stats. We had no idea what Jay really wanted um, for those. Another thing is, it was really hard to contact Jay. She was really busy. She got sick a lot during the semester. And so we had to do a lot of guesswork and include things that we just thought should be included without really having Jay's input. Luckily, when we showed Jay the final product, she was happy with it. Of course, we're still not finished and we we're making more adjustments. The other thing was there were a lot of changing deadlines as well. Jay talked about how her third book was going to be released in October of this year, but it ended up getting moved back again to December, and now it's getting moved back even more until the beginning of January. So that was another hard thing. So we were trying to hurry at the beginning of the semester, thinking we only had one, one and a half month to get it done, but it ended up not even being released this semester. So that was another complication that we encountered. Um, last thing were just some of the lessons that we learned. So with this project, it really helped us get our foot in the door for our expect expectations of being in a real um, development design environment. So it was sort of like an internship for us. And some of the lessons that we learned from that were, number one, we needed to get to the client's world. So like I mentioned, again, um, the game lit genre was just something we were totally unfamiliar with. Sarah actually started to read the books a little bit, but of course we can't read all three books within the time frame we were given. 
So that was probably the biggest thing was we just we were unfamiliar with first creating a website for an author and then that genre. The next thing was the real, realistic expectations of the timeline. We were given that timeline of when we thought that the books were gonna be released, but of course they weren't. And then also when we created our sitemap, we had all these big expectations of what we thought we were going to do, but we weren't able to get all of it done. We were just able to get that landing page done. Last thing was, um, like I said, it was sort of like an internship. So me and Sarah didn't have a lot of experience doing the whole design development process. So often, oftentimes she would give me a design, I would go develop it, and then we'd go launch it and things would just be all over the place. The CSS wasn't working, the HTML wasn't in the right places. So test, test, and test was a big takeaway from it as well. Always make sure you're testing and get that final project. So that is my presentation. And if you want to see the website, we actually have a live right now. It's jboys.netlify.com.